What's good everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Mezco Toys Void Cadet Gomez and Vortex Strike Suit. Uh, it's so damn big uh, that I don't even know what to do with myself. I had to clear out the entire setup, make sure there was nothing around, just so we can get a, a big old grip on the box. Because normally I don't talk about these things, but when you put my boy Ichigo up here next to the box, as you can see, like I gotta reach all the way in. And look how small this guy is compared to the box. It's really kind of crazy. To the point where I'm going to have to take the mic with me, right? Just a little bit so I can move the slip case up. And we're going to talk about how crazy big this is, right? Even if we move our slip case up, look, it gets in the way of Dio. Everything is just so big. And ooh, let's get this bad boy off. Ooh, and it's slipping down. It's slipping through me. There's nothing I can do because that's just how big it is. And oh. There we go. Now, we have this beautiful front box. And what's cool about the box is, it's representative of what actually is the toy. Uh, and we'll get to talking about that too. So right, we have this beautiful top side view as well. So you can see like the top of the mech suit, right? Then we have our backhand side, oh, big boy. Will we see the back of the mech as well. Same for underneath and on the sides, we have our side view right on each side of gomez piloting the strike suit so i'm going to take a quick pause and we're going to show off the, the just the inside so let's see the mech suit let's see gomez let's jump into it all right guys let's jump into it here's a look right outside the box and look at it just take a second to look at how cool this is straight up out of the box again it's not every day you get 112 scale mech suits so this is one of those cool things where I'm going to take a second to like really take it all in. One of those things I really enjoy are going to be the beautiful uh, orange and white. I love the color swap off with that. The hints of green really make it nice. And when we, we'll get to talking about it in the mech suit. But first, let's go over our boy Gomez because he's a space cadet and he looks really, really good here. It's one of those things where I really enjoy the red suit. Uh, and you know what? It reminds me of the show. Uh, from long ago it's before my time but just enough uh it's robin williams in it robin williams uh and i remember him being in a red space suit so it reminds me of that but also like star trek and you got your space cadet suit but i just love the way gomez looks in this and it makes me want to army build these alone because it's just you can have a bunch of rangers like space rangers and like as far as articulation goes it's probably one of the best suited uh looks on gomez is it frees up a bunch of different articulation as the suit is baggy enough to allow for a lot of different movement, right? So, we still have our bicep swivel, and it's beautiful, it cuts all the way through and around. We can lift our leg really high up, straight out the gate, as you can see here. We're having a blast, just doing a high kick up. Let's fix the focus, yeah, there we go. We do have a boot swivel, we have a thigh swivel. We're still double jointed all the way through, with no problem. That means we are hitting rider kicks. And high jump kicks with literally no issues whatsoever we do seem to have improved ankle movement as you can see here rotating that ankle all the way down so it sits flat is really no problem for this along with the boot swivel will allow for a lot of beautiful articulation on this figure our neck and head movement still move just move and look gracefully and our belt has enough wiggle room to allow for movement so gomez looks utterly utterly fantastic but i digress i know that the real thing that you want to get into is going to be here in the background is going to be our strike suit this thing is massive it is big and uh it's hard to not want to talk about it i left the canopy up because the orange reflective would get a little annoying for me as in my eyesight as it reflects right back into my eye but i gotta say this is a really cool thing and again when you put Gomez next to it, as you can see here, uh, look how tiny he is. He really does fit inside of it perfectly. As a matter of fact, let's take a second to put him inside the mech suit so you guys can see just kind of what you're getting into and just how cool this is. All right? We can actually lift this up pretty much higher. All right? And then our boy can fit right in there with no issue whatsoever. And what's really cool about it is we can actually move our controls around. As you can see here, they can rotate through and around. And it's almost like they're on a, uh, not a ball joint, but a, 
a peg that, that allows for up and down and hor- like horizontal and vertical movement. So that means when you want to have your like Gundam-like controls, you're pretty much in a good spot for this guy. Right. We have our green speakers here, which I love because it makes a reference towards Boom Boom. I love the idea of this. Right. None of the buttons uh, have any moving controls, but I'm okay with that because I did push it to see if there was some sort of secret feature. There is no secret feature. But Mez, I'm watching you because I know you. You like to add little things here and there. So I'm watching you, bro. I'm watching you. But um, <laughs> yes. So we, we have a bunch of cool things. And just to show you, we're going to look at we're going to take a look at what it looks like with the visor down on the canopy. So you guys can see the orange. Just how it looks in the mech suit. And I'm going to let it come back up. And the reason why I'm not going to lock it in just yet, because like I said, that reflective surface. But I will get back to that. So, articulation-wise, this is where it gets crazy, right? Because it moves in a way I didn't really expect it to. And I don't know what I expected. Because like I said, it's a giant suit of armor out of its seat. Now, you have to give me a second. I'm going to break this part up. Because I need to get up and I don't want to knock down my camera position. So we're going to take a quick fade away. And I'll get right back to it. All right, guys, now I need you to bear with me. I'm going to be extra loud for this part because I have to walk away from my mic while trying to pretty much go in blind and look at this. But we're going to talk about the arms as we have an articulation that goes outward, as you can see here. So our arms can go out. There is a bicep swivel here on the arm that allows you to rotate outward, as well as one towards the fist that allow for a different set of movement, as you can see here. I'm going to turn that around one more time so you guys can see that. See? What's really cool about this though is that the we have articulated fingers. And one of the details that I really like on these articulated fingers is that it almost looks like there's a flamethrower right here. I really love the idea of that coming out of the hand. So if you want to add your own little like effect part, that's cool. But as you can see, we have articulated fingers. So we can ball it up and make a fist. So when you want to punch somebody, it's not an issue. As you can see, you can lift up and punch outward. So, as far as lifting up and going around, you should be able to get a full 360 degrees. As you can see, that's really, really loud. But it has those strong ratchet joints that should allow for a full movement for you with little to no issue. With our legs, we're gonna go and talk about that right now. But one more thing, I think there is a button here, a latch here. Oh, there it is. So we have a latch up here. I'm gonna have to bring my camera all the way up. There we go. So we have a latch up here for micro missiles. As you can see, the reflection that I was talking about all up in my eye. We have this section here for micro missiles as this opens up and that's pretty cool. And it's actually kind of like spring loaded. I haven't found the button just yet, but I'm gonna find it soon as I'm finding features I probably should not have found just yet which is pretty cool I wanted to go into this blind so I can really really take it all in and be really cool right so with our legs here we're gonna focus on that we can go with this outward movement as you can see here and we have a very strong leg jump. as you can see that sound is very very loud but ooh, I didn't even notice this before it says void right here so this says void I didn't notice that before but as you can see we have a double joint here That allows it to fold all the way in. And then we have a movement here on the foot. So you can go back and forth. As well as you can actually rotate this in and out. So if you want to do some really cool balance. Let's actually see if it can balance. I'm going to I'm gonna test it out right here and now. We're going to see if it can balance. This is going to be crazy if I can do this. I don't think it can, guys. Nah, I don't think it can. But I definitely was going to try it. So as you can see here. It's over here on one foot, so stomping poses are definitely possible for squashing out of enemies. Like, if you want to squash your enemy, it is not a problem in this mech suit, as you can do a giant laced out kick <laughs> with no problem. We even have a little crunchy toe pivot, as well as this beautiful detail here at the bottom of the foot as well. So yeah, that beautiful crunching sound <laughs> like this is kind of ooh. do we have a moving joint piece here too Ooh. so i'm guessing that's to cover up the locking mechanism well not locking i shouldn't say that that's to cover up like the joints when it's moving yeah that looks really really good this is a beautiful piece like ooh. 
I don't even know how I'm going to photograph this because it's so big, but this is a great piece to have just sitting on the shelf as you see a mech suit just kind of coming for you. Like even this pose right here looks absolutely beautiful as if I had the hands. Well, I didn't get to that yet, but accessory wise, if it holds the hands and the handles, you get your rushing mech design. You have the cool looks and things like that. So this is one of those things I'm really, really liking about this because the presentation on this is absolutely insane. It just presents itself so good. Now, one last thing I do want to talk about, and again, I need to take a pause, is because I want to talk about the light up function. So I need to take a pause to try to position my camera in a way to do that. And it's kind of tough. So I'm going to do it in a sitting down pose and I'm going to turn it around. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right. So I folded up our mech suit to look really cool. It's sitting down and it actually looks really cool like this. This would be a beautiful backside shot, which sounds really funny. But you got to you got to think to yourself like a a like stationary mech suit just sitting here waiting to be taken feels almost metal sluggish. And I don't know if you guys have ever played metal slug, but it kind of feels like that. And I like the vibe of that. This is a beautiful shot just in its own like this, just like taking it all in. Right. And I love, like I said, these look like nuclear reactors. And what we're going to do here for this part is I'm going to actually bring it back just a little bit because here's our latch release. And I like that it's actually the name there for it, like etched out and worn. It's a true latch release. And with that being, you slide it up and you release your latch, right? There's a switch here. I've already put my AAA batteries in, so you don't have to worry about that. The AAA batteries are in there and you turn it on, right? And now our feature is on. Now, one more thing before I get into this is because I didn't have it ready with me, but there is a storage option for your boom booms right here. So you can store all boom booms right inside there. That way, boom boom can be like your AI for your uh, mech suit as it taps into your mech suit to like be powered in. I love that. So there's storage for it. You see this little button right here? Now that we're turned on, we have a light up feature here for our mech suit. So let's get to it. All right, that threw me for a loop because it's lights and sounds, right? Now, oh, ho, ho, ho. this is really, really nice. Oh, it lights up in the front too. Ho, ho, it lights up in the front too. All right, I was just turning around to see what would happen, but yes. It does light up in the front as well. Oh, all right, all right. This is good. And I believe it's going to stay on until you don't want it to stay on anymore. So you look at that. Look how look how high this glow is. Like, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here for this. We're going to press it one more time. All right, I didn't expect that one. All right, so that pretty much shows off our lights and sounds. We went through five functions, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, like this is, all right, that took me by surprise. I won't even front. I don't even know how to respond to that because I expected like the lights. Like I was like, oh, these are translucent. Snow way, these won't light up. Nope, it lights up. It's really awesome. Um, and the sounds are even better because now if you wanted to be a big kid, look, you're going to revel in it. This is one of those things where A plus presentation a press lighting. This is just a fun toy. <laughs> and I didn't even get to the accessories, which that is alone. That's his own different presentation. So now that we've gone over the strike suit, we've gone over the, the, the Gomez articulation. Let's talk about what they come with as a combo. So let's jump into that part. All right. Now we're going to jump into the accessories part of this video. This is also going to be long because we actually have a lot of stuff to go over. And what's really cool about all this is that uh, it is a lot of cool stuff. So let's talk about the stuff for gomez first here we are with gomez yet again we're going to make him uh the butt of our jokes right now so we will go over the hand accessories first you obviously see a closed fist there on gomez it is no problem whatsoever right now right but let's talk about what he comes with you will get a set of excuse me excuse me you will get a nice set of sword holding hands or what I call, you know, item holding hands, right? You'll get these. These are cool. You'll also get your patent middle finger, which we all know and love. Our middle finger hand. 
Then we will get two karate chopping hands that I couldn't grab the first time. So we'll have that, our karate chopping hands. Hiya. <laughs> we have our large item holding hand. And one cool thing about this that I've been talking about is that uh, this, I think, this is the first time we've gotten Gomez hands in white. So if I didn't mention that before, I'm going to mention that now. We have our two finger salute hand. Go pow pow. We have our normal pointing hand, which is going to be a right hand for pointing. We have our two open flayed hands. Our item holding hands can also be used as control hands. We have that martial arts hand. And the last time we got this hand, I believe, was Casino Gomez. So now we have it in white, which is really cool. We have a weapon holding hand, kind of like our extra prong holding hand. You will get this new cool martial arts hand as well, right? Or you can call it like a you know mission status hand. You will get two sets of right trigger hands. So this is the smaller trigger hand. And then we will have our larger one, in case you want to carry a larger weapon, right? And then we get a left trigger hand. And that covers all of our hands. I want to make sure we knock that one out first, right? Because next up, we're going to go over our alternative sculpt for Gomez. We actually get an alternative head sculpt. And this is actually a really cool head sculpt. I think the last time we even got something similar to this was Hazard Gomez. So our Void counterpart, our Void Cadet, will get this as well. No light up feature on this guy, right? And then we will talk about the really cool accessories that we do get that we're going to add on to our boy Gomez, right? Now. I love this red suit, but you know what makes it better? A cool old piece of armor. So we also get a nice set of armor to go over our boy, right? So let's pop this armor on and we're gonna talk about it. You can go right over and then we can attach our latches here. They snap right in, they fit really well, they fit really snug. And the reason why I'm putting this on now is because you're gonna see just how cool all of this is in a second. Although it's hard to get these latches in while I try to look into the camera at the same time. That's a, that drives me insane. And I shouldn't do that to myself. <laughs> but we're going to get this in there so we can get it right. Actually, I'm going to pull it over. Oop. I'm going to pull it over because I can't actually grip it and view it at the same time. It's actually quite problematic because it's so far off. I don't think you guys realize how far I am from the actual item as I hold it so far and I'm a short man <laughs> so here we are we have our vest on and this completes our cool look right I like this I like this as you notice we have like another holster piece back here and that is because we have a cool magnetized backpack that pops right on I love this thing I love this backpack and like I said it completes a nice and beautiful look for me for our backpack, one of the cooler things that we're going to get from this backpack is the fact that we are also going to get uh, jet parts, jet exhaust parts that you can plug in and add to the flare of this. So, again, I say it's one of those things where even if you just had got <laughs> this, I would have been super happy with this Gomez because look how cool this is. Like, now you have, like, Rocketeer vibes to it. And let's see how far the head passes back. Look at that. So you can get Rocketeer poses out of this. Y'all can't tell me this ain't dope. And if you tell me this isn't dope, you're a liar. You're a straight up liar. A cool toy is a cool toy. Just like a win is a win. Right? <laughs> but yeah, look. Easily magnetized. Comes right off. No issues. Right? This is dope. So technically you have two looks for your Gomez. Right? But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. If you wanted to add a different vibe or a different look to your Gomez, one of the other cooler things that you can do is that we actually have a side holster with a blaster. And that's part of the reason why your belt comes off easily in case you want to just attach it by just taking your belt off. So let's say you want to just pop the belt off and slide it on, add a little bit of option here. I think it's a good thing because you don't want to spend 10 minutes struggling to, you know, get your belt off when you can just... See, I've put this in backwards. <laughs> Unless you're a reverse draw, then it's like whatever, right? Look at that. And I'm going to leave it with the pistol because we're going to talk about our pistol. We actually get two cool effects 
maybe three cool effects for a pistol almost like an elemental gun right so here we have a small laser blast for our pistol it's so small it's hard to even pick up on camera we can actually just take this out next up we will get this cool almost thundershock like blast this is really cool I like the thundershock blast I feel like that's gonna fit into a lot of photos but then you also get almost like a ray gun effect like come on this is good has some bounce to it but also can hold the weight up so you already know what time it is man get your weight up if you can't <laughs> and it plugs right in and out it looks really really spectacular with the ray gun but again let's not stop there again I left the belt out for a reason because you'll also get boom boom in the shape of a cassette player slash sword cassette right it's all wired up you see boom boom with the front plate we have our little sword here and there is an add-on blade for when you power it up so you have your laser sword and your boom boom now let's not stop there it is also battery powered so what you can do is you're gonna pull this out from here wiggle it out and you'll also get batteries that will go in there I'm gonna push that back in and then we're gonna push our switch up just in case you don't have nails like me you actually get a tiny piece here just boop and look at that now we have a light up blade so you'll also get a laser sword and it latches in right on the belt too so you can place it right behind Gomez to be protected and then you can have a look so then you can plug it on which I'm gonna pull right back again so I can see because again I can't see from the camera angle that you're seeing from so we're gonna go through that <laughs> and we have it on I'm gonna take the laser blade out going to turn off the light off screen a little bit but as you can see here we actually have a nice and beautiful storage look as you can see here this is dope now we're still not done unfortunately so while I pop out the laser blade and turn the light off one of the other cool things I want to talk about is the simple fact that we also get two helmeted looks for our Gomez as well so that's one of the things we're going to go over right now that's why we're going to keep our chest armor on. So, I'm going to leave our belt off. And we're going to talk about our helmeted look. So, if you want that classic uh, bobble, uh, the bubble head, right? We're going to pop our head off. We have this neck plate that we put on here. We want to protect ourselves in a vacuum of space, right? And I don't know why I said that because it's kind of going <laughs> to... This is going to disprove our point right away, right? As we pop our head back on with our antenna we gotta fit our antennas through which can survive in the, in the vacuum of space obviously at this point oh I got it on backwards let's go around forward would you look at that the boy now has a bubble head <laughs> a bubble head to protect themselves in the vacuum of space so your boy comes well protected and I think that's really cool Again, our antennas are good in the vacuum of space. Don't ask him any questions. Suspend a belief. He's the Gomez. <laughs> so, yeah, we have it. Let's remove this. Oop, it popped right out. And then we're going to talk about our last accessory for Gomez himself before we jump into what we get for the mech suit, right? One of the cool things is that we will get a respirator mask. And this fits in by moving our antennas gently to the side. We're going to wiggle our mask in, and it fits right over the face. Now, there is also a special tubing that connects to the front, like a respirator. You plug it in. Oop. I think I got the wrong side. So you're going to plug it in. There we go. And then you're going to rotate this to the back. 
and it does stretch and rotate but again you got to be careful when you're doing it because even though it stretches and rotates what it is is that if it's not securely plugged in it is going to pull from one side to another but when it's done right obviously it'll look really really good yes very good so yeah that is going to wrap up our accessories for gomez but i'm going to leave him right there because what we get for the strike suit is going to be big and clearly we're going to talk about it so two of the things you get for the strike suit are going to be plug-in antennas because it wouldn't be you know related to gomez if it didn't get two strong hardwired antennas and again it's hard to even get focus on them because they're so small there we go so you'll get these these will plug into the back as you saw on the top of the canopy of the mech. I'll show you that at the end of the video. But one of the cooler things you get is, I know we talked about the mech suit having like its own personality. You'll also get a decal sheet to customize your said strike suit however you want. There's a bunch of different decals to choose from that you can literally pop on there for your sake. So even if you want to leave it bare bones, you'll be fine. If you want to add decals to it, even more so last but not least and i saved this for last because this is one of my favorite things about this the strike suit has a big ass sword y'all i'm not even joking like this is a really big sword and that's why it had those strong ratchet joints because it can hold this sword with no problem look at that reflecting everything having trouble picking up on the, the damn thing it's this is fun now What's cool in a giant laser sword? A light up giant laser sword that can fit in my hand like a normal human. Like you gotta understand, this is like a kitchen knife. This is a giant kitchen knife, y'all, that glows. I'm gonna defeat all my enemies like Voltron with the blazing sword with this. So, please, enjoy this giant sword. I'm gonna get crazy with it. <laughs> but yes, I wanna leave y'all with that big ass sword. So, he's not empty-handed. He's not a hand-to-hand -a -hand combatant in the way you think he is. Because not only can he throw hands, he has a big-ass sword. So, keep that in mind. Um, with that being said, I think this is one of those reviews where it doesn't need a size comparison. I've taken a lot of your time. So, I'm glad that you got to be along for the ride. For real. This has been super enjoyable. I'm glad you guys stuck all the way through. I am hoping you're having a damn good time. So, as always, please, be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Thank you.